So what do investors need to do now to prevent a financial crash? CPA and financial analyst Dan Gelter joins us live to help us out. Explain, Dan, good to see you. Uh, you. you know, I mean, this isn't totally unexpected, to be fair. A lot of people have feared that this would happen. But now that it's here, what do we need to know? There's still a lot in terms of what to expect. And that's why we're seeing the market react the way it is. Uh, basically, what happened was when Italy came out with Italy they were South shutting Korea. down. Yes, that really had a, a dramatic impact on the market. Why? Because it wasn't expected. The market doesn't like surprises. So so uh, on the other side of this, what to do? First, don't panic. It, it may not get uh, better anytime soon. I expect that we're still going to see, based upon the news that's coming out, the market may continue to dip. But on the positive side, it's a buying opportunity. There's stocks out there that I'm sure people really like, and now they're going to get them at a better price. So it, 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 the, the economy is still strong. The fundamentals are still strong. Right. There's no reason to panic and at the this stock point. Market, the stock market is not the economy. We've talked about that before. Let's Let's look at uh, uh, the three major indices here, the Dow, uh, the S&P, and the NASDAQ down, uh, well, all three of them except the NASDAQ. But over the course of the last few days, uh, the Dow has been down about 2,000 points. Um, so much of a stock market is perception and confidence. This doesn't instill any of that. No, it doesn't. In spite of what the president was saying last night, last night as far as trying to keep everyone calm, um, it's not so easy when you're an investor, right? Uh, right. right now, because right you're now. you're fielding the calls. Right. So <laughs> people asking, you know, what's going on? And the truth of the matter is, is nobody really knows because this is going to spread. It's on all the continents except Antarctica. It's in 38 countries. There's no real slowing down in sight. And there's going to be an impact on the stock market. So the best thing to do is, is not to panic. We say it over and over again, but it's really true. Getting emotional when you're investing is right. not a good combination. Okay, you mentioned the president talking about this yesterday, uh, later in the day. Let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of this. I really think the stock market took a hit maybe for two reasons. Uh, I think they look at the people that you watched debating last night, and it certainly took a hit because of this. I think the stock market will recover. Uh, the economy is very strong. The consumer is the strongest it's ever been. Now, Dan, I guess also to no surprise, we've seen both sides blaming each other for this when in reality it, it's not a Republican or a Democrat thing. No, it's not. I don't necessarily agree with what the president was saying related to what was going on with the Democratic debate, that that really what about, I mean, he, They are trying to create, a, I mean, I think he has a point when he says that they're trying to create a panic over this. They're always trying to make the administration look like they, they don't know what they're doing. And in a case like this, how irresponsible is that when you have an economy at risk, when you're trying to tell people oh, we can't handle this? I mean, that's scary stuff. Yes, it's it's very irresponsible to turn this into political. It's irresponsible to hope for the stock market to go down, right. to weaken the president. Yeah. That doesn't serve anyone. But real quickly, because we have to go, do you like the way the president is approaching this with trying to calm the fears? Yes, I think he's taking the right approach right okay. now, and he needs to keep doing that. All right, Dan. Dan thank you so you. much. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.